To demonstrate the new delegation capabilities for granular device administration, let's consider the case of Allison, who manages Woodgrove's tenant. Allison needs to delegate the ability to read BitLocker recovery keys to Diego, who manages the support team for the service department, whose technicians use thousands of Windows devices in the field. Allison could assign Diego the help desk administrator role. But we can see from looking at the permissions that the help desk administrator role includes several other permissions, such as the ability to reset user passwords. In this case, Diego does not require the ability to reset user passwords, and Allison wants to adhere to the principle of least privilege when delegating permissions. Fortunately, Allison can leverage the new functionality, which allows her to create a custom role using device permissions. So Allison creates a new custom role called BitLocker Recovery Key Reader. Next, she selects only the BitLocker permissions she needs to assign to Diego. Allison now has a role with exactly the right permissions to assign to Diego. But there's one more challenge. If Allison assigns the role to Diego, he will be able to read BitLocker keys not only for the devices that belong to the service department, but also for other departments like HR, finance, and the executive team. To work around this, Allison can use administrative units, which now support adding devices as members. Allison already has an administrative unit for the service department, and she can now populate it with the devices owned by the service department. Allison is now ready to assign the role to Diego with the exact permissions needed and the exact scope of devices needed for Diego to serve as technicians. Role is now assigned. Now let's sign in as Diego and see what he can see. First, Diego needs to activate his role. Now that Diego's role is active, he can go to the Alt Devices tab and filter to devices in the service department. Selecting a device, we can now see that Diego can view the BitLocker recovery key for this service department device. Equally important, if we go back to the All Devices tab and select a device that's not inside the uh, service department, then we can see that the BitLocker recovery keys are not shown to Diego. Now Diego has exactly the permissions he needs and nothing more. Be sure to use the links in this blog post to read more about these new capabilities for delegating device management and try it out in your tenant.